All right, here we go, mid-segment already. Unfortunately, I turned on the GoPro a couple seconds too late. 1.8 kilometer climb, average gradient 6%, and we got a nice sort of 10% 10, 10 for one kilometer, like 500 to one kilometer uh, at the end. So anyway, you can see here, pretty fast section at the beginning, a lot less than 6%, and it ramps up. There's a bit of downhills. It's all a good good climb. So you can see here, I'm just trying to keep the average speed up as much as possible. This corner I couldn't really see, so I didn't want to cut, so just stayed on my side of the road. I mean, this segment is pretty easy to get, let's be honest. Only 500 people have done it, and the guy who had the KOM, I've nabbed it often for like 20 seconds on the other, on a similar segment, which was about five minutes long, maybe a little shorter the other one. But anyway, this is, the KOM for this was five minutes. This is a bit of a sketchy corner, some gravel on it, but wasn't too bad. Anyway, sprint out the corner and get back up to speed. This one is mainly just conserving momentum as much as possible and just not really concentrating that much on the power. Like you can see here, I'm really surging because I just want to keep the speed up because I know it flattens off. I had pre-ridden this climb, which would help quite a lot. The other one I did, I, I hadn't pre-ridden it, but this one I had some time, so I was like, I'll just pre-ride it. It's It was real easy. I rode it the, the other day, just on a recovery ride, um, and it was pretty good. I just, like, it was good to know there were corners and stuff, because I was going to do it in the wet, but it would have been a bit bad doing it in the wet. So you can see here, I'm really spiking the watts quite a lot. So for this climb, uh, it's about five minutes long. I think I did it in four minutes, 40, and I averaged 392 watts, um, which is pretty good. Uh, for me, it's not my best power ever, but it was it was obviously going to be hard to get my best power ever because there's downhills and stuff where you can't really pedal. Um, and over the top of this, I was really concentrating on this part here. I was like, click up the gears, click up the gears, and try and like keep the same speed. So you can see how the watts are dropping a little bit. But I was really just trying to like drive over the top of these little bits because it's quite easy to lose like a couple seconds if you're just not really concentrating. On around this corner, I didn't pedal. I could have taken this corner a little bit wider on the outs like out leg so you can see I like sort of cut in quite a lot but I actually had a lot more space and I lost quite a lot of momentum so I think in future if someone takes this back on that corner I'll definitely take a little bit faster and just try and carry more momentum uh, it's a little technical anyway this part here when it gets up to 12-13% I think you might be able to get, get up to 15 at one point uh, maybe not only 14 um, but anyway it's like steep, steep enough that you really need to sprint here and I was, I was feeling it now the beginning part of a five minute effort you feel it a little bit like it hurts a bit, but it's really about halfway through, like two minutes, two minutes 30 in, it really starts to hurt. And this bar is really suffering. I was like, oh God, this really hurts. But the good, the good thing with this climb is you know there's breaks. So you know that you just have to suffer to the top, then you get a free wheel on the well, free wheel slash not pedal as hard on the downhill. Um, and then you can just bang it up, bang the watts up again. So you can see here, I'm really struggling on this part. I got back in the saddle, the watts were definitely dropping. I remember looking down, I didn't have my Brighton, I don't know my Wahoo, sorry, I had a little watch and just saw like 350. I was like, God, I've got to, get, got to go higher than this. And you can see I bring the watts back up, just really trying to hold as 400 as much as possible. Um, this bit, was, yeah, wasn't great to be honest. I lost a lot of time here. This is really when you just need to concentrate and just really sprint over. My cadence on these short ones, I generally find is not great, like below 70. But I, I, it's not too much of an issue for me because I know that it's such a short effort, you really just want to sort of muscle it up. You don't ne really want to be spinning that much because you can often lose a lot of momentum um, and that's really what you need to just need to conserve so around this corner again I know we're pretty much coming towards the end um, and I, just, I just really didn't pedal very hard around this corner I didn't gain much speed over the top of that and that's really where you've got to surge over the top just to get a couple K an hour faster and it really helps you onto the next part um, and I didn't didn't do that that well and then this but I think is actually the end so you're suddenly like oh god I thought I thought there was another flat bit but no this is pretty much the end so you've really got to sprint at this point like 480 500 just hold it as much as possible you can see the top and this is really when actually it's the easiest part of the whole climb um, the beginning bit and end bit are always easiest because you've you, at the beginning you've got so much uh, like adrenaline and you're just so excited so you're like oh just bang it out and then the end is off obviously easy because it's coming to the end so the the faster you bang this out um, then the faster you're going to be not hurting anymore so this bit gets up to 19 percent and this is really why i was suffering and i was sort of weaving across the road as you see over here i sort of go to the left this isn't a good tactic you want to just hold your line and just power up as much as you can um i was just sprinting to the line pretty much not really holding anything back at all uh and that was it it was pretty good kom like it was pretty enjoyable fast i missed a little bit out before maybe 30 seconds to a minute before um to be honest oh, maybe only 30 seconds yeah and the kom is just this point on the right so anyway there you go cheers for watching hope you enjoyed that um my tips on how to like roll how to how to roll, how to get a KOM on a rolling climb. Just keep the momentum over those sharp pinches and just don't worry about cadence that much. Just bang the numbers out um, and have it pretty surgy. That's what I find is best uh, for me. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Tell me, can you see the stars? We're just running forward in the dark. You knew just what my soul needed Two hearts we share the same beating Is this what it feels like? Coming back to it, coming, coming, coming.